This video presents Fly, a planar interface prototype for presentation authoring. Presentations have become a key aspect of today's business and academic life. Current presentation tools, such as Microsoft PowerPoint, Apple Keynote, or OpenOffice Impress, are also known as slideware because they are built around the concept of presenting a sequence of individual slides. This metaphor, however, stands in contrast to how we naturally structure our knowledge and how we would naturally prepare that content for presentation. Usually, a plan or map is a good visualization of structured content. In this simple example, John creates a map of things important in his life. The format of a map is not supported by the slide metaphor. Using slideware requires us to transform the nonlinear form of a map into a linear arrangement of slides. This, however, cannot usually be done without loss of information. Especially relationships between content on non-adjacent slides are lost. As you can see here, this forces us to replicate content in order to maintain those relationships. We also need to explicitly create overviews in order to visualize the context of our information. To solve the problem of unrelated form and content, we propose FLY. In FLY, content is laid out in a two-dimensional space. This encourages the presenter to follow arrangements similar to a concept map. The form of the content can now be employed as a presentation device, for example, to offer an overview like this. Let's take a closer look at how FLY works. FLY has no fixed boundaries and encourages experimentation. As we group objects together, a meaningful and memorable unique gestalt emerges. We can describe the shape by providing topic information on a higher overview level, summarizing the details. For a structured talk, we can then define a path through the items we laid out by demonstration. We navigate to each stop and press the snapshot button. A fly document can contain many paths suitable for different occasions. Each of these paths defines a presentation. We can either follow a path or move freely if the situation requires it, for example, in response to a question from the audience. The following example shows Fly in a presentation on the history of user interfaces. Fly's planar view makes it easy for the presenter to show the historical order, heritage, and major inventors in a structured overview. The zooming function lets the presenter transition seamlessly to a close-up of the information landscape as he talks about some of its details. The result is a presentation authoring process that is based on much more natural concepts of human association and spatial memory.